the SNP, Stephen Flynn. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Speaker, in 2010, David Cameron convinced Nick Clegg to drop his pledge on university tuition fees. Yep. Does the Prime Minister intend to take the credit for convincing the leader of the Labour Party oh, to do likewise? Well, I, I, I thank the honourable gentleman for the question. Uh, it is, I, I'd say it's, it's hard to keep up, Mr. Speaker, with a list of broken promises. But what I would say on, on tuition fees is I'm proud that under this government we now have a record number of people that are going to university from disadvantaged backgrounds, Mr. Speaker, and that's because the efforts we've placed to put more money into supporting those people and those communities to fulfil their aspirations, alongside fantastic new apprenticeships in every part of our country. Stephen Flynn. M Mr Speaker, for the avoidance of any doubt, the Liberal Democrats don't believe in abolishing tuition fees. The Conservatives don't believe in abolishing tuition fees. And of course, the Labour Party, now with their own Nick Clegg moment, don't believe in abolishing tuition fees either. But Mr Speaker, is it, is it not the case that the main Westminster parties don't offer young, offer young people any hope at all, do they? Yeah. I, I, actually, actually, I'll gently point out to the uh, honourable gentleman that if you're from a disadvantaged background, you're far more likely to go to university in England than you are in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs>